Hey, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Legend of Grimlock Dungeon Master Extraordinaire. I don't know. Welcome back, whatever it is. And we're going to start by smacking us some baby ogres. Oh. So we're still continuing on with the puzzle of many doors at the moment. And yeah, we're <laughs> pretty much just dancing around these guys for a bit longer, I think. I know that the area called the Matrix, the the one I avoided last episode. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, one survived. Ah, oh, disappointment. Remember in my playthrough of the vanilla game uh, last weekend, um, going through, I had a, a mage with level 50 fire magic and Zandal's orb, um, and his fireballs were pretty much one-shotting and two-shotting most things. I don't think there was much that could get more than one volley off, including the, the full-sized ogres. Right, so we need this puzzle. Ripped right out of, I think it's the second level of Legend of Grimrock. Right, there we go. That's moved it all the way to the end that we want it, perhaps? No. Has it just moved it one to the... one to the left? No. Where has it moved it? Okay, so they're individual teleporters then. Brought you back down here apparently. Or not. Oh lordy. Where are you? Please be over. Oh, please. No. Ah, it's done. Don't know what to do with myself there. Mirror of Dawn. Wow, three kilos. I don't think we really need to hold on to that extra chest. Now where's that eye gone? Hello, mummies. One down. Two down. And we have our next gold key, a leather jerkin, which is unnecessary at this point. Oh, it's an upgrade for Waff. Bit of food, bit more food, and our gold key. Any secrets? No. I do love the attention to detail that has gone into this. Which I suppose is characteristic of the Grimrock series generally too. And I'll get the, the token black crypt mention in early. Um, I really hope someone is out there working on either a mod for the Legend of Grimrock games or um, just their own recreation. And if anyone knows of something that's already out there to that, uh, that end, that effect, please let me know. Oh, we've got all the keys. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> I 
what can we add her experience points to while we're dancing around? Now she's got armor. Um, I think we'll get her up to the next level of swords. Oh boy, chipping away. Having some scary flashbacks to the episode of Grimrock 2 that I just recorded. In which I spent the last... I think it was like seven minutes fighting with a crab. Holy crap, that was tedious. I'm all for you know, strategy and in-depth gaming, but... That just got silly. That really did. We're taking out something that's got 600 hit points, um, one hit point at a time. These aren't quite that bad, and certainly Sonya's making a bit of a dent now. Ow. Shouldn't have gone back for that. Boom. Oh, and for those that have just watched my uh, ne latest episode of Grimrock 2, I did check out that group, and it's quite a worthy group as well. I'll also mention them in, that, in the next episode of that too. Um, basically, they're a group that's getting the word of these games out there, which can only be a good thing in my view. Uh, get him up to light. I do want him up to heavy armor as well pretty soon. There we go. And another pet rock. And another potion bottle. And a male Akaton. Plus six. Now can she wear... Oh, they can both wear light, can't they? Well, I'm going to give that to Hissa. And yeah, we'll give it to Sierra, but we're going to keep the orb and doublet in case we find the rest of her green outfit. Oh, a button. Oh, hello. Didn't quite expect these guys. Uh, took care of him at least. What have we got? What have we got? More meat. And more meat. And a sword. Uh, attack power 11. 9 with plus 2 accuracy and a bit faster. I'm actually going to go back to the sword. Attack power seems to be more appropriate now than, than speed. We seem to have very little issue with speed and I doubt those two points is going to make a boatload of difference either. So let's go back and see what doors we've left. We just did, it was the Beast Lair, I think, Lair of the Beast, or something like that. So we've done Chambers of the Guardian. Boy, I was off. We have the Vault. And the Matrix left. Let's check out the Vault. Oh, I've already done it. Okay, well. Magical Light, go! Okay, this place is full of spinners. So what we want is handy dandy compass. Might actually give that to Hissa. Some arrows. Oh, right, there you go. One. 
So what we can do is just mark there when we do them, when we push the buttons. Oi. I'm pretty sure they're just spinners rather than teleporters. Uh, and yes, I was right. That should take me back out. Where am I? So I want to go back. There we go. And the last key. A robe. What does that do? Protection plus two. Yuck. And more robe. Protection plus two, plus two. Plus two. We don't really need any of that. The saber. I think that might be spelled incorrectly, but I'm not going to take the point. 14 plus 2, 11. So that wins. That is hands down better than what we're using. Okay. Now, what's left? Just checking in the middle, really. And we want to be heading north. Looks like we've hit everything. Oh dear, now's the bit that gets tedious. Just how do I get back out? Is that the one we've already done? Yes. Okay, now much like the last batch, I'm going to record this as an hour, and I'm doing this pretty soon, relatively speaking, after the last batch as well. Um, I did only just now publish um, Time is of the Essence, we've done this one. Only just uh, today published the last hour of this, but I'm really enjoying it, and I want to see those damn purple worms. I'm pretty sure we have now done all of the doors, and yes we have. So we can now move on to the next level. Nice if she would level soon. Where is she? Oh, she's perilously close. Ah, oh, sigh. And down we go. So level 3 should be. Prepare to meet your doom. And we have a coat hook. And nothing to put there. And we've got a face. To this day, I still don't know what those faces are meant to represent. So the saber really isn't uh, performing as well as we'd all probably hoped. There we go. There we are. Just had to give it time to find itself. It's now becoming quite the useful instrument of killing. I am quite happy with this. Oh, and a coin. Skull, we'll grab it. A double axe that no one can really... I guess they can't even use it. Requires axes too, typical. We have a water skin. How full are you? You're full. Happy with that. More cheese. Just eat up, I think. There we go. 
Don't let a closed door stop you. I wasn't going to. Okay, that should have a... Remember there being a secret button or a lever somewhere along here? There we go. Anyway, we're going to come back this way now. Just kill those rock piles. Forty. Bloody good hit. And we're back to four. The little grey blob with no eyes, it's not doing too bad at finding me. Would in fact say that it's doing a commendable job in locating its prey. Again, for a blob with no immediately apparent sensory apparatus. I don't like the sound of that at all. In fact, I'm going to quick save. I do not like the sound of that at all. You had better be nerfed. Definitely slower. Of course he's friggin' diseased. He doesn't feel nerfed. And Sierra leveled. Right, what are we going to give her? So she's got combat caster. <clears throat> I think that we should get some ice magic going, but she's already got the ice magic going, so... I think... Well, can we cast... No. We don't seem to have the energy for that yet. Let's cast, well, let's get some fire magic then. Just thinking. That seems to be the way to go, I think. I can't use this spells. So, the proofreading in this game brought to you by Squiskar and Toki. Here I think we put a coin. I don't know, I'm not going to leave my coins. <coughs> Boatload of rock piles. Fifty-three. I'm very happy with this saber. I need to find a, a gauntlet for poor Hisser. Well, at least we're in a strafable area now. And then after this kill, I'll call it for the half hour. Break it up again into nice, digestible 20 minute chunks. Both for ease of viewer viewership and because I still haven't paid for a better program than Windows Movie Maker, which limits me to four gigabytes per upload anyway. How did that hit? Uh, never mind. Forty-seven. Oh yes. I'm very happy with this saber. So, commentary on this episode, I'm a little disappointed that the wasp wasn't at least palette shifted a bit. 
Now that could have been recolored to match the rather epileptic color scheme of the Dungeon Master Wasp, but I'm not losing much sleep over that. I also remembered them being sort of a glass cannon in Dungeon Master, and that thing could certainly take it as well as it dished it out. So if you're watching Modder, maybe adjust the hit points on that thing a bit. I'm not sure, I, I'm not working with the raw data and look if I'm wrong about that and they, and they were in fact little flying asshole tanks then you know, call me on that. Um, but my own view is that I, I think it should be nerfed a bit, I think the hit points should be reduced. Uh, they're meant to be winged death but they're meant to also fear a humble fly swat. I still think that these little rock piles are probably one of the more impressive. I think the mummy still has to be my favourite just because it seems so original. And yes, I know I'm trying to cast light. You know what, let's just, there we go, and Waff leveled. So we're going to just call this 20 minute chunk here and I'll see you in a moment.